Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Helen the Russian here and this video about making money, getting free money from the banks. The um, title was not a clickbait, um, I really will tell you how to get absolutely free money from the banks. Um, some of it require you to have some money, um, others like with credit cards you won't. So if you're not interested in uh, making money or making your money work for you, click off now. It's going to be a boring video for you because all I'm going to talk about is promotion, specific promotions. So um, we'll start from the very beginning. Um, usually at the beginning of every year, I check nerdwallet.com, its website, which will tell you about a lot of those promotions. Not all of them. They can't catch all of them, but most of them. And... Um, in my case, I always pick um, the best ones in terms of where you have to invest the smallest amount of money to get the biggest benefit. Same with the credit cards. So I'll start with the easiest one. This one requires absolutely no money down whatsoever, and it's a credit card. It is your U.S. Bank Visa, um, and this particular one is called Cash Plus. Um, so you apply, you open a visa with whatever credit limit, it doesn't matter, and you will need to spend $500 in three months, and you will get $150 bonus. So you get $150 absolutely free. Now, for this money to be free, obviously, it goes without saying. The best way in doing it is paying it off at the end of each month, so you don't carry any interest. And obviously, only buy what you already need, so you, you will charge in my case, I just switch all my purchases to whatever credit card I'm working at the time. So I charge literally everything, groceries, gas, all the incidental expenses, everything. I just, you know, that all goes. So 503 months, it's really easy to do. And the bonus appears. So I opened this particular one beginning of March. I hit 500 really quick and inside three weeks. It wasn't that hard. When you're charging everything, it's not that hard at all. And they gave me the bonus last week, I believe. Yes, last week the bonus came up and it actually was $161.64 because there is a regular cashback attached to it as well. So I actually got $161.64 for free. And what I do immediately, you redeem, you click online to redeem the rewards and you apply it to your account. Meaning your account, like say, if it so happens in the, this month, you had some balance, it'll go towards that balance. If not, you just have that money that you can spend for free. So that's easy peasy. Um, uh, Capital One offers uh, a business visa. On that one, you will have to spend $5,000 in three months and you'll get a $500 bonus. It's a bigger bonus. But obviously, that's only think about it carefully before you um, apply for that because you will need to know whether or not you'll be able to spend that $5,000. It's quite a bit of money. So if you're planning any trips, if your insurance, car insurance is due, you can charge that for six months and you know that'll give you at least 1000 It should. You know, a few other things you can, um, I believe you can pay your mortgage. If you carry a mortgage, you can pay your mortgage with credit card. So think about whether or not you can make it in three months and then it will definitely be profitable. Also, very important point about this is once you, at least in my case, that's what I always do. Once I hit that promo, meaning I got the money and I spend the money, then I close out the credit card because... A, it affects your credit score in terms of like, among other things, credit score is a really complicated formula, but one of the ingredients in that formula is how big is your available credit. So the more available credit you have, that is going to affect your score to go down, not up. So you have to be careful with that. And it also be mindful of how you spread those out because there are quite a few promotions out there. Because sometimes some companies, they look at your credit report and even though you have excellent credit score, they see that you're opening and closing credit cards and some may not want to give you those promotional cards because they know that's exactly what you're doing. Like I can tell you, um, Chase Bank did it to me. I carry my main credit cards actually with Chase, which it, it kind of annoyed me, but they, they won't give it to me and they wouldn't say straight away. They, they declined it 
and they said it's based on your credit report, which I immediately called and I said, well, what do you mean? My credit score literally is um, seven, 790 um, on Equifax, I, I believe. No, on TransUnion, 790 and 806 on Equifax. It's excellent credit. And he, the guy said, oh, well, no, we know it's, it has nothing to do with that. I go, well, what's the problem? He goes, it's based on your credit report. I said, well, you're going to need to elaborate. Anyhow, I'm not going to bore you. It took me nearly 15 minutes because he didn't want to say but he finally spilled it out. He said, well, it, it's because you opened and closed in the last three years. So I'm assuming the counting in three year increments, you opened and closed seven credit cards. And I'm like, yeah, and I'm going to do the same with you. And he said, well, we, we're just not going to do it. So which fine, other, other companies don't care. So we covered US Bank and Capital One. Um, Wells Fargo has a really good promo and it's for Again, that's business one. And I talk about Wells Fargo actually has two excellent promos and one of them is not covered on Nerd Wallet. If you're a business owner, which like say if you're a ride share driver and you have your business license, that's all that's needed. You are a business owner. So um, if you open a checking account with Wells Fargo, it's a business checking account. You need, ultimately, you need to have $25,000 and so it does require some kind of money. But the good thing about that one, you can actually use the $25,000. So you open with $25,000 and if you can use it, so you can spend it, but you need to have that $25,000 balance at the end of 180 days, so six months. So in between, you may not have that money in it. You, you can go down to a thousand or even to, to 500, but at the 180 day mark, and you need to be very careful with that because remember, sometimes bank calculate funny, they don't calculate holidays and weekends and whatnot. So you need to be very careful with that time frame. You need to have $25,000 on it. And then there are some qualifying activities, but you know, there are several ones, but the easiest one is you need to complete 10 transactions with ATM cards. So basically charge whatever on your ATM card from that account and they'll give you thousand dollars. So you get free, literally free thousand dollars and you will have to wait a month for it. So at the balance of six months, if you have $25,000 in that account and you completed qualifying activities, which, you know, you should say in this particular case, you can look it up. There are other qualifying activities, but the easiest one is make 10 transactions with that ATM card. They will deposit $1,000 into that account in a month. So overall, you're going to have to keep that money in there for, well, for seven months. You have to wait for seven months to get $1,000, but it'll be free $1,000. Now, with Wells Fargo, again, business visa, you will need to spend $3,000 in the first three months of opening um, that visa account, and you'll get $500 bonus. So that's fantastic promo, same deal as I just talked about you. It's 3000 is a bit easier than five, which is why it's a little better option than, cap than Capital One. But yeah, three months, you spend 3000 you get $500. Same thing, you can use it as cash back, so it's free money. Now, Citibank. Um, this one has to do with, again, some, some investment. Um, it requires $15,000. You open an account with $15,000, and they will, just for opening it, there are no qualifying activities, meaning you have to do absolutely nothing. You just give them $15,000, and it's a, it's a certain account, so you need to look it up online or you need to ask your banker which promo is that. And some of those promos have expiration dates, so you need to hurry up and take advantage of them. There is a $400 bonus in 90 days paid up to you. So you put $15,000 into that account, you don't touch it for, well, you won't be able to, to really touch it for six months, but you don't touch it for three months. You get four, $400 bonus deposited into your account. And that 400 you can take out right then and there. It's just you have to be careful with closing the accounts because generally banks want you to keep the account open for six months so you can close it without penalty. Otherwise, there might be penalties attached, which is why I said six months. But once you get that bonus, you can reduce the amount of money in that account to, to very little and then close it out in six months. The reason I say close it, because a lot of people think, oh, I'll just keep it open, maybe I'll need it in the future. Well, no, because 
you can, if this bank, same bank, has a similar promo in two years, you can still take advantage of that if you close your account because different banks give different time frame. Some of them you have to wait a year between cl closing the old account, completely closing all accounts and opening the new ones. Some of them ask you to wait for two years. But bottom line is, if you did close it, when the time comes, whatever time frame required by the bank, you're a brand new client because usually those promos apply to new customers. They're not for existing customers. They're for new customers because they want people to come and give banks their money, obviously. So you can take advantage of whatever promo they might be having in two years, again, with the same bank and get another whatever 400 300 they all they do different things in different years now you don't have to be funny about doing this i can tell you when i go to the banks and do this i tell them honestly that's exactly what i'm doing that i say look you have this promo this is what i want to take advantage of i'm going to let you have whatever amount of money they require and then once i collect my bonus and or oh, six months passes i'm going to close it out and they never have a problem with it. it. So you don't need to be shady about it. It's all good. And most bankers know. And they're perfectly fine. Um, Wells Fargo, I think he was a new business banker. Because he, he I said that. And he goes, oh, wait. Well, let, let me verify with, with the branch manager. We don't really want you to do that. But then he came back. He goes, no, you're fine. Yeah. yeah and, I, and I know I am. So um, we covered Citibank now with Citibank. In addition to that $400 bonus, you can get another $100 if you make two direct deposits each in the first two months, one deposit in, in each month. So again, as a, if you're a ride share driver, you just change your payout information to that bank for, for the next two months and you're going to get additional $100. So you're going to get $500 total from the Citibank if you take advantage of that promo. Now, back to Capital One as far as banking. There is a promotional account. You open that one online. It's again, and you need to look it up which one it is, and they all have expiration dates. So make sure you, you look at to which dates um, you need to adhere to. But that one is $10,000. So you deposit $10,000, you get $200 bonus. Same thing, you keep it there for six months, you walk away with $200 bonus. And I do believe that. Um, no, I, I don't believe, I know for a fact, because I looked it up online, they also pay a regular interest apart from, in addition to the bonus. So in my first months, they pay the bonus straight away. So in my first months, I, I had $217 and $17 in some sense. So $17 was the interest. So in the next six months, as I'm having this account, so I actually going to end up with about $300 in total from that bank, because when you count all the interest, that's what it's gonna be in six months. So that's nice. Also, so these are the promos. Um, Chase has a promo, I couldn't take advantage of it this year. I did take advantage of it two years ago, but this year I they want me to wait a little longer. So it hasn't been two years since I closed that account. Same thing they have. Uh, I think you need to put $10,000 in and you will get $200 bonus. And then if you do direct deposit, they're going to be additional bonus. I, I couldn't take advantage. And they gave me the promo code and everything online. And then when I went to open it in the branch, the guy put the code and he goes, no, you need, you need to have two years in between. So that's that. Now, moving on to CDs. Um, they... Uh, it's not fantastic, but finally banks start, started offering decent rates. The best one at the moment is Capital One Online CD. they offering 12 months, so one year, at 2.7. And there is no uh, minimum limit on the amount of money. So obviously with CDs, you know you can't touch that money. So you can't touch it for the whole year to make that interest. But at the balance of the year, you're going to have... Whatever it is, percentage 2.7 based on what, what kind of money you put in. And the next um, good one after that is Wells Fargo. They're offering 2.5% currently. So that's it with the boring money videos. Like I said, at the end of the year, when you look at everything, like I looked this year, usually when you do it systematically... Like this year is going to be pretty decent with, with me taking advantage of all those promos. 
next year won't be it, it will be okay but not quite as good it's it's every other year because like i said there is a time frame where banks want you to wait and it's usually about two years in between so this year in because in addition to all these promos i also have like i said with chase i have my main visa i've had it for decades and they have pretty good cashback program usually with that program i get i'm gonna say roughly about 500 dollars a year in cash back so overall with all those promos i'm looking at about um as far as um, amount of money i'm gonna make free remember it's free money this year gonna be about 2600 so think about it. that's 2600 dollars of absolutely free money surely you know you can use 2600 dollars now mind the bonuses that are paid on the actual accounts they are definitely taxable so you will be sent 1099 at the end of the year and you will need to include it give it to your accountant to include it in your taxes however the ones on the credit cards they know that it's literally free money like free free at least in my case because i use it as a cash back meaning i just keep charging that amount from the credit card so no you don't get 1099 for that free money Free, 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 free. No taxes paid in that. All right. Hopefully you found that helpful. It's a little boring, but go make some money.